So you guys have probably already seen the video edit that I did for the Thrifty Z. Um, if you haven't already, go check it out now because it's fire. Uh, but I'm, I'm at the stage with the Z that I'm happy with it and it's time to move on to better things, which is this behind me. It's my Nissan 180SX, which I've stripped down to the bare shell. I've had it for about seven months now. And I'm at the stage of spray painting the engine bay. It's already sanded back and sitting in two coats of primer. I did sand in between the two coats of primer just to make it nice and smooth. I came back from the paint supply store just then, so let's dive straight into it. So here I've got my spray gun. I've already used it two or three times with spraying the primer on the engine bay. Picked up for 50 bucks um, for the total tools. It works pretty well. I got my stirrer stick, a measuring cup, these filter filling up things. You want to fill up the spray gun, and I've got the paint. So I ended up deciding on a light grey for the paint of the engine bay because I'm not too sure what I want to spray the outside of the car yet. Whether it's a, um, a red or a blue or a gray, this is a nice happy medium that will go with everything. So if I want to do around two to three coats um, on the engine bay, I want about 330 odd mil of paint with each mixture that I do. The dude at the paint store said no more than 15%. He even put a sticker in there for me, thank you. But I think I'll go around 10% um, just to be on the safe side of thinners. So that means I'll put 330 odd mil of paint in the mixture cup along with 30 mil of acrylic thinner. So there you have it, that's the engine bay all finished up and done. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it for what it is, it came out pretty good. I'm about to head back to the paint supply store and pick up more of this color, but in a spray can this time, just for in future, any touch ups or anything that I wanna do. But anyways, that's all there is for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for what's next.